Oh, it is beautiful. Santa has been great to us this year. Huge Christmas present for us. Actually, I'm joking. Uh, I'm at the dealership, had to come up here to Sun South to grab some parts for our John Deere Gator. Oh! I've had it! Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope everybody has a great Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. It's getting cold here. It's not Christmas quite yet, but it's uh, supposed to get down to like 18 one night. Christmas day is only supposed to get up to like 21 degrees. So, um, how is this happening? How is this happening? Turn it. 360, I'm back on the farm, baby. <laughs> for one week, he was snowing, uh, snowboarding for one snowboarding week. Snowboarding for one week, North Carolina. Shout out to Beach Mountain. Beach Mountain. We're dragging hoses. I was gonna say. <laughs> oh God, to clean that one out good. So we're uh, just moving some equipment around. We've got our bull buggy. We haven't cleaned it up yet. We're, we're getting it up under the shed because we're about to shut down for a little bit, take a break, and uh, make sure we got everything under the shed, protect it from the rain or the, the mist, maybe the snow. Out of all the equipment, this is the tallest equipment we've got. That right there, the chain guard is the highest point and it barely, just barely fits in. It's also the only piece of equipment that will not fit in our big shop. It just misses it by this much. If we let the air out of the tires, we could probably make it fit. We got the peanut pickers in. We still got a, that one's cleaned up. We got to straighten her up too. She's not straight. Cotton pickers under the shed. She's not cleaned up. And Keithy's peanut picker. Uh, we got to get her cleaned up. my breath yeah that'll work that'll work Woo. helps when you go the right way it's been a week off work it's been a long time Trevor's been off all week all week Boy, snowboarding snowboard. mammoth mountain california what no <laughs> beach mountain. north carolina beach mountain north carolina did you see sean white no i didn't you probably don't even know who sean white I is i didn't do know you? he's uh what a 14 gold medalist yeah Red hair. Red hair. I follow him on Instagram, actually. Did you pull any gnarly tricks? I did make one All jump. Right. Cool. All right. There she is. So we got the old mule boy up under the shed, and we're still missing uh, the tire. The axle, or the spindle rather, broke toward the end of cotton season. But we've got a new spindle put on it. That's something we'll tackle after the first of the year. Did you tell them how cold it is right now? Uh, what is the temp right now? You can see our breath. Can you see it on camera though? Let's see. What's the temp? Where there? Come on. 45. 45. And we're, people up north are watching this and like, wow. Only 45? But down here for Florida, that is cold. Yeah. And tomorrow's supposed to get even, even colder. Let these hands unthaw. 45 degree temp. 45. 45 degrees. All right, everybody. It is the 21st. We are doing little tidy tasks around the shop. We don't got everything planted. Oh. So yeah, let's check on everybody and see what they're doing. I am cleaning out Kyle's truck. Uh, I use Kyle's truck a lot, so I figured I'd help him clean it. So, I'm cleaning out this, getting it all shined up for the new year. So, let's head on over and see what everybody else is doing. Kyle, what are you doing? Uh, so just tidying, tidying, up, tidying the shop. up the shop. Look at that desk space that he cleared up for us. If you've seen in the background of the videos, this usually has what? Probably 30 different things laid out on it. Just clutter. Everywhere. Just a clutter of things. Now let's see what Keithy's doing. Keithy, what are you doing? 
the uh, fixing the, uh, the pimp machine. The what stick? The pimp machine. The pimp machine. Okay. Yeah. The uh, hanging bear, the hanging bears and that John Deere gator that drive on the beach. Gone. And that's the gator that's up there. Yeah, hanging bears. Hanging bears is gone. So what have you done to it already? Got all the old bears off of it, polished it up, and paint it. He's painting it so the salt does not corrode it. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I think Jim ran to Donsville to get some bearings. All right, Jeff and I have pulled up here to the Jeff Field, what we call the Jeff Field. This was, this was our last field of cotton we picked. So we've got the stalk chopper here now, but uh, it's obviously way too wet to do anything with it. So we're gonna take it back to the barn and get it put up under the, the shed. See if it'll crank. Frigid temps, 45 degrees. Blustering her right off. And he's off. All right, now I'm headed to uh, Donisville, Georgia, Sun South. We've got uh, two parts for our John Deere Gator, a, uh, our drive shaft for your four wheel drive, two little hanger barons, uh, or pillow block barons, whatever you wanna call them, went out. So they're in, gonna go pick it up. Oh, yellow light, just in time. Here we are. Oh, it is beautiful. Santa has been great to us this year. Huge Christmas present for us. Actually, I'm joking. Uh, at the dealership, had to come up here to Sun South to grab some parts for our John Deere Gator. Dang it. <laughs> I got the goods, two little barons for the uh, John Deere Gator. Y'all blocking me. Is that the one? Yep, that's it. Here we are putting the Gator back together. Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today me and Kyle are going to be sharing the verse for the video, okay? And it says, which verse is it called? It's the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. And it reads, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus was born to die for your sins. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Um, just remember to always keep God in your faith or keep God in your life throughout this Christmas holiday I think we focus a lot on gifts during this time and that's not what it's about it's about coming together and celebrating the birth of Christ um, so he was born to die for you but, so everybody just remember to celebrate Jesus through this time uh, hope everybody stays warm Kyle you got anything you want to share? Just Put Jesus in the place he deserves, which is first. Always. Every aspect of your life. So, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, and we'll catch you later. You know what I've got to mirror so far? What? Nothing. That's why I'm going today. Too cold to work outside, so we got the, uh, the heater rolling. It actually uh, warms things up pretty good so right now it says it's 69 degrees in the shop um, we're a bunch of wusses so today's not even that bad it's like 45 degrees real weather's coming in about two days but uh, Trevor and I are working on getting my truck cleaned up they've already got Kyle's truck cleaned up and uh, yeah it's a uh, gets pretty dirty <laughs> that scare you I'm trying to work here did I scare you well, easy GMC, easy. Oh, she put the pork. Oh yeah. On. So switching gears now, me and Trevor are uh, at Target. We're gonna do a little Christmas shopping for my wife because I'm a procrastinator and I've waited to the last minute, hoping won't be a whole lot of people out, but it looks like it is packed to the max. Trevor, is this your first time to Target? No. This is your first time? No. no. You know what they call Target? Target. Target. 
Here we are. We did it. About an hour in and out. Got what we needed. And still cold. Hasn't warmed up any. Okay, everybody. It is now the next day. December 22nd, I believe. December 22nd, I was right. So it's December 22nd, and we are still kind of cleaning up the shop, but look at this right here. We had to put this in the shop, but I want everybody to look at how clean the shop is and how clean the floor is. Now, this might be one of the cleanest we've ever seen here since it's been built. Um, I know it's the cleanest it's ever been since I've been here. So I just want to put in perspective how much dirt there was in here. Probably at least 10 pounds of dirt on this floor. Um, and we actually blew all the dirt out with one of those backpack uh, leaf blowers. But one thing that has helped us in this shop is this right here. On these cold winter days, that thing keeps us warm and let me tell you it is probably it you can stand in front of it about melt your jeans off but that thing makes life so much easier okay there ain't nothing that that thing can't heat real quick caution for a second what you got hey you just are you still recording yeah just put it up for a second what's up you know i love you like a brother and i i hate to even accuse you of this but before i even get into whatever this is going to turn into if there's anything you want to let me know now would be the time what do you mean there's nothing you want to come clean with don't no. have i don't have any i mean there's nothing really i mean still going with that right going with what I, come here and take a look at this can you explain this right here that looks like a good piece right there So that, to me, looks like you're stealing cotton. Actually, it doesn't look like it. It, it is. That's what's happening. You're stealing, that, stealing cotton. Did you see my face? That Trevor, he was doing so good, but he disappointed me. I mean, I could swear I looked out the window and it looked like he was putting cotton in his pockets of his jacket and just stuffing his jacket. That's a whole bunch right there. That's a whole bunch. Let me see. Let's see if I can get some. Yeah, I kind of noticed Trevor was taking cotton from day one, just like you'd see him just kind of look around, make sure nobody was watching, and just bend over and pick it up off the ground or pull it right off the module. Yeah, that's clearly you, Trevor. If you wanted cotton, for, I mean, all you had to do was say something. And I've, I've thought of a thousand different ways that this is not what it looks like. Me and Daz looked it's at it. It's not what it looks it like. It is no. what it looks like. What else could it be, Trevor? You're, but I was, look at look at this right here. Did you ask me look, why? Look at, look at this shirt right here. You're putting it under your shirt. Did you ask me why? No, why? We oh, you got you got an answer for me? Yes. And then he'd take off and go over to this little red wagon and look like he was putting cotton in the wagon. Surely he can't be stealing from the farm. Yeah, I have no clue how much cotton he's taken, but I'd say well over 100 pounds at least. Yes, I just can't there, tell you. You got an excuse of why you I do have an excuse, and it's a good excuse. Just come clean with it, Trevor. Tell us the truth. I can't right You're now. You're a thief. One thing I can't stand is a thief. Yeah, I mean, Trevor's such a likable dude and a good stand-up Christian man, you know. Um, I could have never imagined him stealing from the farm. Disbelief? I couldn't believe it, but... Pretty much couldn't deny it. As soon as I saw the video, Trevor stealing cotton, playing his day. It's not what it You've got cotton in your jacket right here. That's not mine. Then whose is it? Is I don't know how that cotton? got there. I don't know how that got you there. You don't. How much cotton do you have in it? I'm just disappointed. What? Do you want uh, me to show you why I've been stealing cotton from y'all? Yeah, I'd love to see. You okay, come on. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm gonna love to see this excuse. What? I was making y'all hand-knitted Christmas sweaters. 
Okay, that's why why that why I was stealing cotton from y'all. Field Rose Christmas sweaters. You made that for us? Yes, every single one of y'all. Trevor, now I feel like a jerk. Man, I didn't want to tell y'all until Christmas, but now it's up. I love it. Try it on. I really feel bad now accusing you of. What size is it? I, what I, size is? I just kind of knitted until I felt like it fit y'all. I mean, does it look a little snug or no? I yeah, I think. I think as long I, as I don't, you know, dry it. Yeah. It'll be all right. Just, I wouldn't move your arms it's too much it's in comfortable. it. Comfortable. Thank. I think it'll work. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. So, dude, Merry I'm Christmas. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh God, man. I feel awful. <laughs> Here I was thinking the little fella was stealing. And uh, the whole time he was taking cotton to make us some sweatshirts and hoodies for Christmas. Oh man, I know it took him like three days just to make one. Kind of sad Jim did kind of ruin his Christmas present, but I mean, it kind of did clear my name, so that's good. I mean, he was taking all that cotton to hand make everybody a sweater. Man, it don't get no kinder than that. I guess that's what the Christmas spirit's all about. All right, everybody. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that gag. We've had that uh, in the works for quite a while, but we want to do something special. If you want to win a one-of-a-kind filled rose, let me, let me show. Let small, me show. custom design by my children. Well, look at Ellie Rose's part. The three-year-old on the back did this doodle. So if you do wear a small and you want this, email fieldrose at gmail.com and you will be entered to win this along with, uh, we'll do a hat and a shirt and some stickers and we'll even throw in the Let's Get Nuts album by Randy the Farmer, my twin brother, who also has a very special surprise coming up. Um, so yeah, put in the title, Field Rose Christmas Hoodie. Does that sound good? That sounds Field good. Field Rose Christmas Hoodie. Make sure you comment, like the video, and you can have a one of a kind what else are we going to do? Christmas sweater. I think we should sign it. Yes. If, if you want us to sign it, we'll sign it. But if not, we won't sign it. <laughs> Either way, it's up to the viewer. But Jim, do you remember how we got this whole joke? I do, but you can you can okay. tell the story. The story is that one day I was around the farm and there was some cotton laying around. I just looked at Jim and I just started putting it in my pocket slowly. And it was just... From there on out, it was just a joke between me and him that we just start kind of putting po or cotton in our pockets, mm -hmm. just jokingly stealing it. So that's how this whole thing came about. We've been wanting to shoot it for a long time. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny, too. We might be the only ones laughing at it, but I thought yeah. it was pretty funny. But whatever y'all do, have a Merry Christmas. Um, this isn't the end of the video yet. This isn't yet. the end of the video so yet. So keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to switch things up. Thanks for watching our spectacular Christmas field rose. Re re All right, re re redo that. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching our spectacular Christmas field rose episode. Uh, we're going to take a little time off. So uh, the next YouTube video might be a week or so out. But uh, next, we're going to switch gears. I know you're probably familiar with my twin brother, Randy. And he has wrote a Christmas song and has asked me to play it on the YouTube uh, channel and all that. So this is his Christmas song, and we're going to play that now. Santa, I've been a good boy this year. Please buy me a brand new John Deere and put it under my tree. Oh, just for me, I please. Can you imagine the look in my girlfriend's face When I drive my new tractor up her driveway I shift up a gear and drive over her car And my brand new 8360R Yeah, Merry Christmas, Merry Merry Christmas Merry Christmas, Merry Merry Christmas Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holla, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holla, Happy Holidays, Happy Holidays. Happy Holla, 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 Happy
Happy. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope everybody has a great Christmas and even a happier new year. Thanks for watching all of our videos. And if you haven't checked it out, Let's Get Nuts, my debut album, is still on sale at fieldrose.com. It would make a late Christmas present, or if your birthday's in January, or if you'd just like to purchase it, come on down to fieldrose.com and check it out. Check it out. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching until the end. We hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and uh, Trevor, want to say anything before we, before we leave? Uh, Merry Christmas, y'all. Jesus loves you. And what else, Jim? Keepy? What? What else? Keepy? <laughs> Keep it in field rows, baby. All right, everybody, thanks for uh, watching throughout the year. Like I said, we're going to take a little time off, so it'll probably be a couple weeks for you guys to see another video. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep it in the field rose. Jesus loves you. See ya. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy Holla. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas.